Hello everyone, welcome to Basically Neda Reads. I'm Neda and this is my October TBR slash where have I been? So I'm back. <laughs> you might be wondering what happened to me for the past two and a half months or so. Um, I just stopped reading. <laughs> That's basically what happened. I was reading three books and let's just say I got into a little bit of reading slump and I got into a bunch of other hobbies that I have and I told myself I will wait for like two weeks and then I'll get back into reading and doing YouTube and all that stuff. Stuff, but I just got lazy <laughs> and I was just not reading <laughs> so I am slowly getting back to reading so this is going to be more of something that will guide me to get me back into the habit that I had before. therefore <laughs> these books are going to be short books. I will not be picking up any chunky books as I was uh, reading a big chunky books before I stopped reading like Ship of Magic by Robin Hobb. I will not be picking that up this month, maybe later on or maybe I'll just pick it up next year. I don't know but yes that is going to be on hold. Uh, Robin Hobb books are going to be on hold for me because they're very dense and character driven and as much as I love reading Robin Hobb, it was just the reason why I went into a reading slump. So I think I need a break from those books and I need to start reading shorter books. <laughs> just to get back into it. So the first book that I have picked is um, Stardust. I actually was in the middle of Star Stardust by uh, Neil Gaiman. So I was reading this, I was halfway through and I just stopped. I was also doing a hybrid with this and um, I liked that I was listening to it and reading at the same time. Um, my audiobook went away and then I just stopped. So i should going to get back into this. This is a um, YA adult, like young adult fantasy book. And uh, the main character is uh, this young boy named uh, Tristan who goes out of his world to explore and finds other magical beings. So the next book that I'm reading is actually an audiobook that I have right now, and that would be uh, The Dead Cat Tail Assassin by P. Jelly Clark. And I am enjoying it. I am like 11% in, so I will definitely be finishing this one unless the audiobook goes away, <laughs> so I will definitely be reading this one for October, which is also a sci-fi fantasy book based on assassins and gods and those kind of things. So that's it's been very fun reading it. So um, it's very short. It's a novella. That shouldn't be a problem for me. <laughs> then. The third book that I'm going to read is going to be a horror thriller book, which is The Loris uh, Claiborne by Stephen King. I specifically got this one <laughs> from the thrift store just so I could read it <laughs> during the October month. So I will definitely be reading this just to uh, get into the spooky season. And this is about, uh, um, the main character is telling her story to the police and what happened to 
uh, her uh, assistant or something like that. Um, yeah, apparently there's a book before this, but um, they don't collide or something, They're, then I don't need to read that one. So I'm just going to read this one. So then I kind of been following um, Jolene's uh, read across, Reading Across Canada challenge. Um, her channel is a Bookworm Adventure Girl. And so I would like to continue with that. And um, last month was read a short book uh, by a Canadian author. And this month is um, reading Canadian literally, Literary Award winner. And I was <laughs> watching her, I guess, recommendations for last month. And I picked two books that are actually award winners as well. So it kind of goes with October and September, I guess. So I'm kind of not missing two months, <laughs> like a one extra month, you know, I'm just missing one month. Um, no, actually two months because I didn't do July. Maybe I'll pick up my July one later. But these are like kind of uh, novellas, so I should be able to uh, get into it. And it will be as daunting as I thought it would be for me to get back into reading. So the, the first book that I picked out of her list is uh, The Red Chesterfield by Wayne Arthurson. Arthurson? <laughs> and this is a mystery novella, so this will go with the, uh, the October season. And it, the main character gets involved into a um, murder and needs to solve it kind of thing. And sounded interesting. I'm going to pick that one. And the fifth book, so this one, the fourth book, and then the, the fifth book will be um, 15 Dogs by Andre Alexis. This one... Um, it's a novella about uh, what if dogs and animals could think like humans and how would they feel and those kind of things. So Julene brought it up in her recommendation. But my sister has been selling me this for about, I think, 10 years to read this novella. <laughs> and I just be like, okay, maybe later. But now I think it's later is now <laughs> so I hope I can get it on Libby but if not then I'll probably go over at my sister's and be like can I borrow that book <laughs> so we'll see uh, hopefully I can get to that one and then the last book that I'm going to read is what I was actually trying to do a buddy read with uh Graham Matthews <laughs> and I don't think either of us have finished this book <laughs> Um, it is The Coward by Stephen Aryan. I am like 25% in. Um, I was 20% in and then I stopped. I basically slowly have been reading it. So technically I have been reading something, just a chapter once in a while. <laughs> so I'm going to attempt on finishing this if I can. But we will see. <laughs> These are my six books of this month. And mostly short books, novellas. If I feel like I'm going to pick up something else, I might pick up another novella. Maybe a Tiki Fisher. I don't know. Let me know down below what kind of books you were reading for this spooky season. If you have any recommendations, put them down specifically short books please i do not want to get into long books um maybe in november i will get back into those long high fantasy books uh but right now i'm just trying to do all the short ones just to get back into the habit and yeah that is 
all I have to say for this month. Hopefully I will actually read this month. <laughs> and thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please press the subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!